Welcome to the Burgo 3710 Independent Coulter Drill Operational Video. This video has been provided to you to act as a supplement to the information found in the operator's manual, providing general guidelines and useful tips for successful operation of your new 3710 Independent Coulter Drill. The operator's manual contains detailed information on safety, preparation, operation, storage, and specifications of the unit. Keep this manual handy and refer to it extensively for correct operating procedures. Burgo Industries Limited warrants its new unused agricultural equipment to be free of defects in material and workmanship at time of the delivery according to the Burgo warranty policy. Please make yourself familiar with the warranty, which is documented in your operator's manual. It is important that the dealer has provided specific information and reviewed the unit with you prior to delivering the unit. A dealer information sheet is located near the front of your operator's manual. Dealership and unit information is recorded on this page for easy reference if you require any warranty or parts service for your Burgo unit. So why should you make safety a priority? Three reasons. Accidents disable and kill. Accidents cause downtime and cost money. And accidents can be avoided. The safety alert symbol identifies important safety messages on the implement and in the manual. When you see this symbol, be alert to the possibility of personal injury or death. Follow the instructions in the safety message. Safety signs on the unit are categorized into three groups, danger, warning, and caution. The danger sign has white letters on a red background. It indicates an imminently hazardous situation that, if not avoided, will result in death or serious injury. This sign is limited to the most extreme situations, typically for machine components that, for functional purposes, cannot be guarded. The warning sign has black letters on an orange background. It indicates a potentially hazardous situation that, if not avoided, could result in death or serious injury, and includes hazards that are exposed when guards are removed. It may also be used to alert against unsafe practices. The caution sign has black letters on yellow background. It indicates a potentially hazardous situation that, if not avoided, may result in minor or moderate injury. It may also be used to alert against unsafe practices. Be sure to read through the safety section of your operator's manual. The more you familiarize yourself with your system, the more you reduce the chance for injury to yourself and those around you. Please make safety your priority. Key features of the 3710 Independent Coulter Drill will be covered in this overview. These will include the model 400 control box which is located in the tractor cab, the hydraulic control blocks which are located on the drill mainframe, the parallel walking coulter arm including detailed information on breakdown and depth setting, and the optional MRB3 mid-row banders located on the front row of the drill. Refer to your operator's manual for more detailed information regarding the operation and service of your drill. The Model 400 drill control box should be installed in the tractor cab in a location relatively close to your other hydraulic functions and air seeder monitor. The control box allows you to raise and lower the openers and mid-row banders as well as adjust the opener down pressure and packing force. The toggle on the right hand side is for power. Always ensure the unit is unfolded into field position. All persons are clear of the openers and the depth control hydraulic remote is engaged before turning on power to the control box. When the power is on to the control box you will see a red light. This indicates that the unit has been activated to allow control over the 3710 after the tractor depth remote hydraulic has been engaged. The larger toggle on the left side controls the raise and lower operation. During operation, 
the seat openers and mid-row banders will be lifted and lowered simultaneously with this control switch. This is used primarily when turning on the headlands. The middle toggle controls the hydraulic pressure to increase and decrease opener and packer wheel downforce. The hydraulic pressure is displayed on the Model 400 control box on a gauge at a range from 500 to 1500 psi. For operation of the unit at hydraulic pressure lower than 500 psi, or to check if the pressure is at zero, refer to the hydraulic pressure gauge located on the block on the front of the main frame. Note that the pressure gauge is electric and will retain the last known pressure when power is turned off. This gauge is for reference during operation only when power is on to the control box. Refer to the operator's manual for details and schematics for the control box. The 3710 independent Coulter drill is designed around the innovative parallel walking Coulter arm. The design of this seed opener provides a wide range of advantages for producers, including independent depth control, consistent seed placement, and on-the-go packing adjustment. The hydraulic cylinder provides both packing pressure and disc breakout or trip force for the arm assembly. The pressure is controlled from the cab by the electric over hydraulic switch on the Model 400 control box. Therefore, the packing force and seat opener trip force is adjusted at the same time. The next important feature is the parallel arm design. The parallel arm arrangement will maintain a consistent angle of the seed boot throughout the travel of the opener. The parallel arms provide a total of 16 inches of travel, 9 inches of transport clearance, and 7 inches of downward travel. The two parallel arms are designed to provide a 1 to 1 contour ratio for the seed opener. This means that for every inch of vertical travel that the Packer Cleaner Wheel Assembly makes, the disc opener will also travel one inch. A one-to-one -one contour ratio provides a high degree of contourability, but typically will make the opener more sensitive to ground conditions. Burgo has addressed this sensitivity in the 3710 opener by designing the packer wheel and cleaner wheel as a walking assembly, dampening the negative effects caused by traveling over debris and existing furrows in the seed bed. The weight acting down on the walking arrangement is split 30% forward and 70% rear to minimize potential of the cleaner wheel digging in moist conditions. The packer wheel is designed to provide packing force in the range of 50 to 250 pounds. In conditions where additional packing force is required, the cleaner wheel can be locked up so that all the force is transferred to the packer wheel. This arrangement will eliminate the walking action, so greater attention will be needed regarding seeding speed and seed bed preparation. Burgo provides the option of a 4.8 inch fully pneumatic smooth crown packer wheel, a 4.5 inch semi pneumatic smooth crown packer, a 5.4 semi pneumatic smooth crown packer wheel, and a 4.5 inch double shoulder semi pneumatic packer. The smooth, fully pneumatic 4.8 inch wide packer wheel inflation pressure can be adjusted from 16 to 50 psi to match soil conditions. The packer wheel assembly features a 1,000 pound trailer hub. Heavy duty tapered roller bearings can absorb a high degree of side load and still provide long operational service. Seals for the bearings are mounted on the spindle rather than the hub to maximize life and minimize damage from twine wrap. If maintenance is required, the packer wheel assembly can be removed easily with one bolt, allowing producers to switch packers quickly. The 16-inch diameter semi-pneumatic cleaner gauge wheel is available in a 3 or 4 and one half inch width. When not pinned up, the cleaner gauge wheel has plus or minus 2 and one half inches of vertical travel. In most of the primary pivots, Burgo utilizes maintenance-free composite bushings. Burgo incorporates hardened bushings on the cylinder pivots, which are also maintenance-free. The parallel Coulter walking arm 
features a 20 and 1 half inch diameter Coulter disc that will allow 4 inches of wear in diameter before needing replacement. The material used in the fabrication of the discs provides extended service in the field. The hydraulic downforce will provide the operator a range of 250 to 450 pounds of force. The disc is mounted to a 1250 pound hub designed to give many acres of service. The hub is designed for easy removal so that it can be taken off and serviced in a more convenient location for the operator. There are two seed boot scrapers available for the 3710. Each one has a distinct mode of operation and is typically paired with a specific packer wheel option. The anti-hairpin scraper is the choice if you are dealing with heavy residue conditions. This scraper will provide penetration through challenging field materials such as corn stalks or wheat straw, yet provide an excellent seed bed without hair pinning into the seed row. It also is capable of directing another product to the side of the initial seed row for increased seed bed utilization, or the placement of starter fertilizer in close proximity to the seed. Burgo does not recommend or endorse the placement of all the crop's nitrogen requirements with this scraper system as it will endanger your crop to the toxic and desiccating effects of the fertilizer. The best packer wheel choice for the anti-hairpin scraper is typically the double shoulder style semi-pneumatic packer or the 5.4 semi-pneumatic smooth crown packer wheel. The low disturbance scraper is ideal if you farm in typically dry conditions and field residue is not a common concern. Soil moisture is retained with a zero-till like field finish. The scraper also has a narrow profile, so less horsepower is required in drier conditions. The low disturbance scraper is typically paired with the round pneumatic or semi-pneumatic packer wheel. Refer to the operator's manual for service and maintenance information. It is important to service your equipment on a regular basis to ensure good operation during seeding.